Now, after having discussed about the bioavailability, let me give you the explanation of the term which is called as bioequivalence. Now, what exactly this bioequivalence means? You see here, you take many different pharmaceutical companies, they can manufacture the same compound. And the manufacture of this particular same compound will occur with same dose as well as the dosage form as well. Right? Now, for example, let me take you. You take phenytoin. Right? Phenytoin, it is available as the dilantin and as well as the eptoin. Right? It is available as dilantin and as well as eptoin. Okay? So, take this concept now. So, you see here, like many... Pharmaceutical companies, they manufacture the same compound. Right? They manufacture the same compound. Like, for example, right? For example, you take the manufacture of the phenytoin, which is an anti-epileptic drug. The phenytoin can be manufactured with a trade name that is dilantin or we get one more trade name of this particular drug which is called as eptoin. Either you take in dilantin or you take in eptoin, the composition is same that is phenytoin. All right? And that too, this particular composition, it is with same dose and as well as the dosage form. Now let me explain you what do you mean by this word bioequivalence. Now, if you see here, you take the difference of the bioavailability, right? If the difference in bioavailability of these two preparations, right? If the difference in bioavailability of these two preparations is less than 20%, these are known as bioequivalent, all right? So, a point what you need to remember is, if the difference in the bioavailability of these two preparations, okay? So, if difference in bioavailability So, if difference in bioavailability of these two preparations Right, if difference in bioavailability of these two preparations, right, if it is less than 20%, right, if it is less than 20%, these are known to be, right, these are known to be bioequivalent, right, these are known to be bioequivalent, right. So the the bioavailability of these two preparations. These two preparations means the same drug. That is, example, either you take phenytoin in dilantin or you take the phenytoin in eptoin. Right? Same drug, same dose and same dosage form. If the bioavailability in between these two is less than 20%, if the difference in the bioavailability is less than 20%, these are known to be bioequivalent. Right? These are known to be bioequivalent. Next. Now, as the term applies, these are biologically equal, that is, they will produce similar plasma concentration, right? So, the bioequivalent drugs, right? The bioequivalent drugs, remember, they produce. same plasma concentration right they produce the same plasma concentration so let me shortly revise about the bioequivalence right many pharmaceutical companies they produce the same compound right for example you take phenytoin one com pharmaceutical company will formulate with a trade name that is dilantin the other one with eptoin now, if the difference in the bioavailability of these two preparations is less than 20%, then they are known to be bioequivalent. 
and the bioequivalent drugs remember they produce the same plasma concentration